GOP leaders say they will not give Biden one more dollar in spending bills until he agrees to fund and fix the southern border crisis. The railroad strike has finally and officially been averted. President Biden goes after Kanye West's crazy comments about the Holocaust, and China is accused of officially interfering with U.S. election systems by creatively brainwashing Americans using TikTok. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. I really appreciate it as a small news station here on YouTube. Also, don't forget, I'm giving away $15,000 thanks to generous video sponsors, and there's going to be 25 winners. I'll make sure to leave a link down below. And thank you guys so much for supporting me and buying these incredible Freedom Lover hoodies. You just about cleared me out, but there's still some if you want to go buy one. Let's jump into the news. President Joe Biden has officially put an end to the railroad strike by signing a newly drafted bill into law. He stated, I know this was a tough vote for members of both parties. It was tough for me, but it was the right thing to do at the moment. To save jobs, to protect millions of working families from harm and disruption, and to keep supply chains stable around the holidays. While the bill did not include the desired extra sick leave, Biden promised to keep fighting for it. While pushing sick leave through will be a challenge, Biden hopes he can introduce a form of amendment in the near future. So the railroad strike is now officially handled. That story was changing hour by hour, so I'm glad it's over so that I don't have to cover it here on the channel because it was starting to give me a bit of anxiety. Now, emboldened by uh, taking the House of Representatives, uh, new GOP leaders say they will block every single spending bill Biden tries to put through until he's willing to address the crisis at our own southern border. More money going to Ukraine? Not until you help fix the southern border. You want to avoid a government shutdown? Well, I guess you better help fix the southern border and on and on and on. The Freedom Caucus has four direct demands on President Biden. First, resume construction of the U.S. border wall. Two, rescind executive orders and put back in place the Remain in Mexico policy. Three, visit the border and meet with law enforcement personnel and border protection and immigration to give them an idea that you are going to back them on protecting and defending our nation. Four, permanently classify fentanyl as a Schedule I drug. Now, the Freedom Caucus pointed out that there are more people dying of illegal fentanyl than the war in Ukraine. So the federal government and leaders must act now to secure the border, block illegal fentanyl the best they can, and to have the... Uh, the, the border become a bigger focus because right now it appears to the public that our country cares more about Ukraine than our own country and our own citizens. And so they are, they are making these demands on the president. A new report out which monitors the behavior, policies, and actions of countries on a macro level found that twice as many countries move towards authoritarian government versus democracy in the last two years. The heavy-handed COVID lockdowns and abuse of government authority likely gave government leaders the feeling of power from controlling large groups of people. And so the world has shifted more towards authoritarian, totalitarian government and less towards freedom and democracy, according to this independent study. Well, Kanye West has just ruined whatever was left of his platform or message. Uh, more has come out after his appearance on the Alex Jones podcast, where he stated, every human being has something of value they brought to the table, especially Hitler. Kanye also claimed to love Hitler because he loves everyone. Kanye continued to compliment Hitler by saying, he had a really cool outfit and uh, was a really good architect and he didn't kill six million Jews. So not only does he love Hitler, but he's denying that Jews were murdered in the Holocaust. Now, following the interview, Kanye posted a picture of the Star of David overlaid with a swastika on his Twitter account. This post was classified as incitement of violence, and he has now been banned from Twitter. 
Elon Musk stated he tried his best to fix Kanye, but ultimately he went too far. I think it's safe to say that Kanye has ended any possibility of running for political office and may have irreparably damaged his reputation and his business going forward. Now, the uproar from uh, his comments caused such unrest that President Biden's team went on to Twitter and quoted President Biden saying, I just want to make a few things clear. The Holocaust happened and Hitler was a demonic figure. So basically pushing back on this crazy narrative from Kanye West. Americans are more and more frustrated with the IRS after they released a statement saying, anyone that makes at least $600 through third-party apps like Venmo or PayPal must report their income. The outrage is especially large because our own government can't even report what they do with our taxpayer money. For example, the Defense Department re recently released an audit which only accounted for 61% of $3.5 trillion in assets that they manage. This means that the government has lost track of a trillion dollars, and yet they want you to disclose if you made 600 bucks through Venmo. It's crazy. President Biden has finally expressed that he would be willing to meet with Vladimir Putin to end the war in Ukraine. He stated, I am prepared to speak with Mr. Putin if in fact there is an interest in him deciding he is looking for a way to end the war. Biden claimed that Putin is unlikely to pull out of the war, so he would be open to hearing what he has in mind. This is one of the first times President Biden has expressed openness in negotiating with Russia. The ongoing war has been very expensive for America to fund, so Biden could be trying to get out of a very expensive future bill uh, by not having to commit more and more taxpayer money to Ukraine, but we'll see where this ends up going. However, the Ministry of Defense leader of Russia said it has no choice but to continue their campaign to weaken Ukraine with missile hits since NATO continues to pour weapons into the country of Ukraine. He also said there is no denying this is now a war between Russia and NATO, with Ukraine just being the battlefield and the pawns. You could sense that he now knows that Ukraine is being used by NATO um, in, in this war. It's kind of sad, but I think, I think there might be some truth to that. Now, the stock market opened red and then remained red most of the trading day, but by the end, it had basically come back up and ended neutral. Uh, many individual stocks, however, saw 2 to 10% single-day gains which is insane. So it could have been people pulling out of index indexes and then pushing over into individual stocks or higher paying dividend stocks in hopes of having a faster, more stable recovery once the Fed pivots and the market starts to come back. Gold and silver both saw an incredible run up this last week and then went neutral on the last day of trading as the US dollar shows signs of weaknesses. Okay, now China has reportedly used TikTok to influence the recent midterm elections. Multiple accounts were run by the Chinese government in which they ran content that attacked Republicans and favored Democrats. Many commentators have noted the danger of having a foreign country brainwashing Americans via viral propaganda. While many don't see this as a threat, China could easily use TikTok to influence tens of millions of Americans in one direction or the other, just by having viral propaganda that they push out. Now, it's not even content that was amazing. It's just that they could control whose eyeballs it got in front of, and they use that to their advantage, according to this report. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. Make sure to take 20 seconds to get your name entered to be one of the winners of the $15,000 giveaway that Casey and I are doing, thanks to generous video sponsors. So thank you guys so much. That will end on December 18th before the holidays so that I can get that money out to you. So thank you so much, uh, sponsors, for all of your help with blessing and, and helping people right here in my YouTube community. Now, before you go, I want to remind you that you are amazing. Make sure to check out this super important video. Join my newsletter and get subscribed to the channel. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by today and I will see you on the next video.